what we're doing is actually very simple. I mean, the methodology is very straightforward. Um, we use what's called a UV-vis spectrophotometer, and basically that's an instrument that's, that shines light through a solution and then registers um, how much light is, is absorbed or how much is transmitted through, through the solution. And then that's for, shown graphically. So what we do is have, uh, have a dye solution um, and add a small amount of just ordinary water to it, and that's the control. And uh, light shone through that solution and that produces a graph that shows what sort of wavelengths are absorbed and what sort of wavelengths are, are, are allowed through the solution. And then we take the same dye solution and to that we add a small amount of potency and then uh, shine light through that um, and again uh, graphically look at uh, how much light is, is absorbed and how much light is, is, goes through the solution at different wavelengths and then the two graphs are, are compared um, and consistently we see a difference between those two graphs. We've been looking at many different compounds, um, many different dyes primarily, but uh, that's now progressed to looking at uh, compounds that aren't dyes but share many of the same characteristics. And we've probably looked at upwards of 30 different uh, compounds and, and they all show a difference in solution in the presence of potency. Um, there are many other compounds that don't show a difference um, and it's those compounds that do that, that, are, that, that are the ones that, that are giving us the, the insights into what potencies might be. This is all um, standard research, um, double blind using controls and, um, and, and samples that, that aren't, you don't know which is sample and which is control and so on.